Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning. Happy birthday, Aquarius. I'm going to be doing the um, earth signs, air signs reading, and the water signs reading. Um, I'm not going to break them down individually this weekend because it's my birthday weekend, guys. <laughs> okay, but anywho, I am going to give an Aquarius single reading as a bonus reading. I will do that because it's Aquarius birthday. Um, let's just see what signs you're dealing with, Aquarius. I have an energy. I'm feeling the energy of someone giving up, okay? Aquarius could be your sun, moon, rising. It's very important that you do know your sun, moon, rising, and your Jupiter, okay? Because you don't have to be an Aquarius for this reading. You could have Aquarius in your chart, and that goes for all signs, okay? So just letting you guys know, that's a piece of information, and um, it, it's also good to know your Akashic records. Um, that's another that's another day. But anywho, because a lot of my general readings, um, a lot of my clients, they say, well, it resonated, resonate. Okay, if it, some part of it resonates, that's cool. But you still need to book a personal reading. I'm just letting you guys know. Because sometimes the generals confuses um, you guys. Okay? The only way you're going to get to know precisely what's going on is if you get a personal, okay? I'm doing two questions for $50. I'm very firm on that. If you would like that to do that, you can call me at 346-465-5990. And you can also um, cash out me at dollar sign and for Shay Shay. Okay, but let's get into the reading. I have a message. I have a message for from Corinthians 9 and 7. Um, I was meditating this morning and this came in my spirit for me to look this up and share with you guys. Happy are the men. I'm sorry. Happy are thy men and happy are these thy servants which stand continually before me and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God which delighted in thee to set thee on his throne. To be king of the Lord thy God, because thy God love is established for them forever. Therefore may he the king over them to do judgment and justice. Okay, guys. You take that how it resonates. That's what the Holy Spirit wanted me to um, tell you guys. To send that message out. And I'm going to tell you also when I was meditating... Um, the purpose of that message was, I feel the spirit of someone giving up, okay? Um, why you want to give up, I, I, I don't know. But giving up is not of God. I had a, um, that puts me in the mind of some readings I had last night, okay? Holy Spirit, show me what you want me to see. Holy Divine Spirit. For the sign of Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. Okay. Okay. Ooh. The first card that stood out to me, Aquarius, was the Ace of Swords. You have to be truthful within yourself. This when I seen this card pop out, that's the first thing I heard in, in my um that's the first thing I heard. Okay. You have to be truthful within yourself. You want answers, and you want everybody to tell you the answers. But you have to go within in order to find the answers for yourself. May it be your spirituality. May it be with your kids. May it be with your ex-husband or your boyfriend, your baby daddy, whatever. The answers reside within you. This is Libra Gemini Aquarius. And whatever you was, um, whatever question that you was asking in your mind... Is yes, okay. Yes, okay. I have the nine of wands. You've been waiting and watching because you've been hiding. You've been hiding, okay. Let me flip over. And what you hiding from, you hiding because you are suffering from a lot of heartbreak. And this is why you just say, okay, I'm just gonna give up. Giving up is not an answer. Giving up is not of God. Giving up is not of your ancestors. Giving up is not of the Holy Divine Spirit. 
You are, a, I'm talking to a divine feminine. If you really and truthfully are a divine feminine, giving up is not of the Holy Spirit. You don't possess the energy or the spirit of giving up when you know the Holy Spirit. Now, what is the odds of my cards matching the verse in Corinthians? You have a lot of heartbreak. Okay, we all do. You, you, you in a lot of pain because something has ended for you. I'm hearing your baby daddy done left or you, you thought maybe you was going to be with someone that you can't be with. Okay, fine. But it's time for you to get up, shake, shake everything off, put your big girl drawers on and keep moving forward. I don't know who this message is for today, but the Aquarius is that, that I know y'all pretty hard. Okay. <clears throat> it's time to stop feeling sorry for yourself. I love that saying by, T, I think it's T.H. Lawrence. I never felt a wild bird. I never seen a wild bird feel sorry for itself. Look that up. I made a video of that, I think, at the beginning of the summer. Look up that poem. I never seen a wild thing feel sorry for itself. A bird will fall frozen from a bow without ever having to feel sorry for himself. Okay, this Aries, Leo, I'm sorry guys, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. I have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, your heart is bleeding out and crying out for people to help. Family members, okay, but you will not Give them a chance. You want to end it with everyone in your life that truly loves and cares for you. But the people that don't care, you still want to be around them because they're toxic. Okay? But the Holy Spirit and the universe is trying to tell you, end all that foolishness with people that no longer serve you, but you're still hanging on. You're still trying to hang on to what no longer serves you. And this is why you hurting. This is why you feel like, oh, woe is me. I'm suffering. Why me? Because you will not take heed to what the universe is trying to tell you. We're trying to end things for you to have a new happy beginning. Something that's pro prosperity in every aspect of the word. But you won't allow it. And it's coming in quick. Even money is coming in quick for you. But you will never see it if you always feeling sorry for yourself. Okay? Give me more Holy Spirit. It's a very powerful message for someone. Look at this. Six of Cups. Okay, the past was the past. Leave the past in the past. Revamp yourself so that you can revamp your future. But you cannot do that. And I say it again. You can't do this by yourself. You have to pray to your holy divine. To whatever deity that you pray to. If you think you can conquer all these spiritual attacks by yourself. Well, good luck with that. But everything happened in your past was, to, was a lesson for you to better yourself in the future, not to make the same mistakes. Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a reevaluate myself. Yes, I'm in a bad place. Yes, I may be homeless. Yes, I may not be making a lot of money like I should. Okay, I, my, my job may have ended or things may have ended for me in my relationship. Maybe I thought that person was the one. Maybe, I, you know, I thought I was going to be married forever, but I wasn't. Okay. But you got to get your mindset has to change in order for your surroundings, your environment, your purpose to change. You can't keep the same mindset and think you're going to keep moving forward. That makes no sense. You have the Aquarius I'm talking to have a child. OK. And if you give up, this child is going to what? Give up. You have to have strength for your child. We are advocates for our children. I'm feeling that it could be an Aquarius with one kid, and possibly two. I'm getting a single mother. I'm getting a lot of downloads, guys. Okay, you're a single mother. Okay, fine. I'm getting a download of, of even a mother that was left with five kids. 
that she's hurt and don't know how she's going to do it. This man just up and walked out of her life. This is what I'm hearing. Is it devastating? Yes. But own that so you can move forward. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Look at this. Six of Pentacles. You have people that will help you. You have people that don't mind giving to you and helping you get on your feet. But if you ask not, you have not. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Get out of this. Get out of this feeling. Sorry for yourself. Energy. Out of this despair energy. Okay? Because it's toxic. And didn't I tell you the people you hanging around is toxic? And it's about eight people you hanging around is very toxic. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth sign. It's an Earth sign you're dealing with. You could be hanging around a Gemini that's not right. Okay? Look at this. The universe is begging you to end this and you instead of saying, oh, okay, I'm fine. I'm, I'm not going, nothing is wrong. But you have two ten, ten of swords. Because you are to end this. You, you, this ended in the past and the Spirit is telling you to end this in the future. But then you constantly saying, I'm going to keep myself from everybody. I'm gonna move. I'm, I'm gonna move back, and I'm gonna. Move, but you still are dealing with people. Yeah, you may go in and, and 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 be alone for a few days or whatever, and you may have a little epiphany. But then you do not follow through with what you say you're gonna do. That's Scorpio energy, and this is why you stay in the Ten of Swords. I mean, the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you stay there because you always confuse. You, 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 you wishy-washy. You never say what you mean, mean what you say. You have to follow through with what you're saying for yourself. And you have to push these people away. You're dealing with a queen of pentacles that's very manipulative. That's maybe even stealing from you. That you think she's your friend and she's not your friend. This is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very manipulative. Okay, could be your hairdresser, could be your um, um, your girlfriend, could be your baby mama, could be um, just a, a work friend. But this person is not good for you. And I'm talking about two females as friends. And every time you deal with this person, it's always harsh communication, and then you always get unhappy afterward. Guys, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this person sits up and watches your every move and tells people everything that you're going through, tell all your business, and you're still dealing with this person. That's, what, that, that's your message, Aquarius. Okay? You need to really get yourself together, Aquarius. Okay? Let me see. What signs are we dealing with? You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Leo. Scorpio is at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, this has been your reading. Get yourself together, mama. Or daddy. Or flip it how you want it. Take it how it resonates. But this has been your message, your reading, Aquarius. Happy birthday. Light and love.